Another big, huge thing that's going to happen with intermittent fasting is, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Caitlin, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about five things you need to know about intermittent fasting. But before we get into the video, if you guys are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I just wanna thank you guys so much for us reaching over 14,000 subscribers. That's literally unreal to me, so Thank you guys so much, each and every one of you guys who have subscribed. That really means the world to me. That literally made my day. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, so let's just get straight into it. So the first thing you need to know about intermittent fasting is if you don't like the feeling of being hungry and you can't get used to that, then intermittent fasting is not for you. We've gotten so used to being told that hunger is a bad thing and if we don't eat at the first hunger cue then we're starving ourselves but that's not how your body was made to eat your body wasn't made to eat five to seven meals a day constantly digesting food constantly breaking down food you need to start getting used to the feeling of hunger this is the reason why most people quit two days in five days in a week in because they don't like the feeling of hunger but you're not starving yourself you're just giving your body some time to rest and reset so it's not digesting food all the time, overworking itself. So get used to that feeling because it will pass. Another thing that you need to know about intermittent fasting is you can gain weight from intermittent fasting. The goal of intermittent fasting is to moderate how much food you're eating without counting calories. But for some people, this just feels like an invitation to eat however much you want and just go buck wild thinking, I'm doing intermittent fasting, I'm not gonna gain any weight. But that's not the case. You still have to reduce the amount of calories that you're eating. So maybe for a week, start tracking your calories and see how many calories you're actually taking in because you may be eating high caloric foods and not even realizing it or just snacking throughout the day mindlessly and not even realizing it. So really be honest with yourself. Sit down, track your food for a week and see where you can improve because you can gain weight if you're eating too many calories. The third thing that you need to know about intermittent fasting is once you start fasting for long enough, you'll realize how much you didn't need the foods that you think that you wanted or what you weren't able to deny before like Snickers and ice cream and chips and things like that. You'll start to feel more in control of your food and more in control of your cravings. Even if you do end up giving into those cravings, you'll know when it's time to stop and you'll be satisfied from having a smaller amount than you would normally have. And you'll also learn the difference between wants and needs. You'll know that I want this, I'm craving this, but I don't need this. I know that my body doesn't need this, I just want this and it will pass. Another big huge thing that's going to happen with intermittent fasting is people are going to judge you, but who cares? They're gonna say that that's unhealthy, you're starving yourself. Even people may say that you have an eating disorder. People are going to encourage you not to do this, but don't be affected by people's perception of what they don't understand. You've done your research, you know it's right for you, so don't worry about them. But just be prepared for the judgment because it's gonna happen, but once you lose all the weight, people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, how did you lose all the weight? Or they'll be jealous that you even have the willpower to do it. So don't worry about what other people say about you because they're going to talk about you regardless. I was told, Caitlin, you're way too fat. Now I'm told, Caitlin, you're way too skinny. And it's just like there's no pleasing people. So do whatever you need to do to make you feel happy and live your best life. And lastly, another thing that you need to know about intermittent fasting is you're not going to get immediate results. Let's be real, you didn't gain the weight overnight, you're not gonna lose the weight overnight. That's not how this thing works. So don't be expecting results after a few days or one week or whatever. I've been getting a whole bunch of you guys telling me, well, I've been doing intermittent fasting for three days or I've been doing intermittent fasting for nine days and where are my results? Expecting instant results is like going to the gym one time and then being like, oh, well, why don't I have a six pack yet? Like. That's not how this thing works. This is a weight loss journey. This is gonna take time, effort, discipline, dedication. You have to be ready and prepared for this because this is not an overnight quick fix thing. Sometimes it can even take up to two months for you to start seeing results. I didn't lose the weight overnight. It took me one year to lose the weight, but I'm glad that I took my time. I went slow because now I'm able to keep the weight off. So don't worry about the time that it takes you to get there. It's a journey. Be patient with yourself, love yourself through it, and you'll be okay. 
but that comes to the end of my video if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comments below or you guys can always message me over on instagram at caitlinlindsayxo and if you guys like this video be sure to give this video a like down below that really helps me out and if you guys made it this far in the video and you're not already subscribed what are you doing go ahead and subscribe i'd love to see you guys here next week and with all that being said i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next week bye